What's so funny, TSM? What's so funny, TSM? <laughs> I've been raising the awareness, protecting the kids. Homie, you know what it is. It's college protecting against a disaster. In case a disaster come here, that's what I said. In case you ain't here, get the blessing, all these children. Against violence and disaster, we protecting all these children. We are the children of protection. We are the world's projection. We are the children protection. We are the world's projection. We are the children protection. We are the world's projection. We are the children protection. We are the world's projection. Yo, what's up, Chain Breakers? Chain Breakers, Chain Breakers. Listen, I am TSM Rapper of YouTube. I customize, specialize, and custom intros for channels like this one and any other channel. No matter what your channel is about, no matter what you do on your channel, I do great music, great intros just for you. So make sure you tap in, connect, hit that like, share, and subscribe. Yeah, yeah. Chain Breakers, I'm out. What is up my chain breakers? I hope you guys are having a glorious day. You guys, I have a story here which is absolutely bizarre to me. And I I, I don't know how to put this. I'm just going to read the story. There's a store called Belk, B-E-L-K, department store. And the report says that worker was found deceased in a uh, built department store bathroom for four entire days you guys four days all right so um i don't know what the time is of decomp decomposition of a body that is no longer you know alive but i'm sure something had to not smell good so let me get into this story so um, a 63-year-old worker passed away in the public bathroom of a South Carolina department store, but her body was not discovered for four entire days, the authority said. So, four days of this person being um, deceased in a uh, department store bathroom. She was actually a employee um, working, I believe she was an outsourced employee so um this is heartbreaking for me the the person name is bessie durham who worked for an outside company that cleans the belk store at columbia columbiana center was found unalive or deceased monday investigation investigators said her cleaning cart was outside the restroom all right Durham was last seen on Thursday at work and her body was found shortly after her family filed a missing persons report. Columbia Deputy Police Chief Melron Kelly told WIS TV. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, that yeah, so was the store still open? And if the store was open, did anybody go into the restroom? You know? So let me go ahead and continue because you you, you had to have seen maybe her cart out there maybe someone saw the cart and walked away and thought because i know when i see the carts at the malls and stuff like that and they're outside the door i won't go in i'll try to locate myself another restroom so that could be the case in this situation but you know let me read further and find out okay so the lexington county coroner's office said there are no signs that someone took durham's life or that she was using any type of drugs or narcotics. An autopsy is planned for Thursday to determine her cause of, you know, passing away. Durham was um, seen on surveillance camera going into the bathroom at 7 a.m. on Thursday morning, and she did not come out. Her body was found around 8 p.m. on Monday uh, night, the coroner's office said. 
The store was opened regularly over those four days, and Kelly said the police are investigating to see if anyone was negligent, meaning that if anyone actually went into the bathroom, saw her there, and decided, you know what, I don't want no parts of this, so I'm just going to walk away and keep it pushing. But what they probably don't know is that they were under surveillance as well, and if that is indeed the case, then... I don't know uh, what to say. I don't know what they can do as far as uh, a person not speaking up, you know, especially if they were not the cause of this person's demise, okay? Um, let me continue. We're still working with the store to find out what their process is to closing down the store, inspecting the store, and things of that nature, said Kelly. And that's what I want to know. What were your procedures? Did anybody go? Is there a checklist of things that you need to go check on? Are there doors and things that you need to check on to see, you know, and make sure that um, the store is secure during lockdown and open? You know, um, who was the one, who was the manager or the supervisor that was on call uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday? Because if they were open on Sunday, you know, who was there? Who and I think, um, and I'm hoping that YouTube doesn't say anything to me or or touch this video, but I I've been in a situation where a person you know passed on, and uh, I guess it was like a couple days later, we started smelling the composition of the person's body, and that is a smell that you will never in your life forget. So I'm wondering if the store was closed and if they had air conditioning on, which most stores do have the uh, malls very cold, so that could have contributed to not um, decomposing so fast at a rapid rate. So uh, we'll see, and hopefully um, they'll give us an updated report so that I could continue to follow this story. My heart totally goes out to the family, the friends, and anyone that um, love this individual. You know, my, my condolences go out to you. So Belk is helping authorities fit to figure out what happened and is sending his deepest condolences to Doran's family, the company said in a statement. Yes. And, you know, you guys, if you happen to hear this story, um, you click on this story and you listen to it in its entirety, please take a moment and send up a prayer for the family you know because at this time it's very hard to know that someone you know last breath was taken in such a um place as a restroom and especially in the public and no one you know discovered this young lady until i still say she's a young lady and i don't care who feels what about it but no one discovered this young lady's body until four days after so if the family happens to see my video my 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 sincerest condolence go out to you and your family and i pray that um, you will get the answers that you need so that you can have closure in this situation and all those that are affected the person that found this young lady i pray that you know they can get some help and some closure as well so with that being said you guys please be very vigilant Please be very careful. Check up on your family members. You know, check up on your friends. Don't just assume that because they say, hey, I'll talk to you next week. Kind of send a text through and say, hey, how you doing? You know, because you never know. You know, if they need to talk, talk to them. Because you never know what people are going through, especially in this day and time. So with that being said, you guys. Um, don't forget to hit that like button, that post notification bell, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, you guys, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.